everyone i welcome you all to this channel and in today's video we will discuss about this solve question of post basic bsc nursing 2022 conducted by rajasthan university of health sciences question number one fetoscope is used to option a hear heart sound of mother option b visualize fetus option c hear heart sound of fetus option d hear abdominal sound of mother Fetoscope or so called as peanut fetoscope is used to hear the heart sound of the fetus. So the correct, correct option here is option C. Question number two. Fundal height at 24 weeks of pregnancy is option A at the level of CV sternum, option B at the level of umbilicus, option C at the level of two thirds of the distance between the umbilicus and the CV sternum. Option D at the level of two thirds of the distance between the symphysis pubis and umbilicus. Correct option here is option B. That is at 20 week, 24 week, at 24 week of pregnancy, the fundal height is at the level of umbilicus. Question number three. Normal fetal heart rate at 30 weeks of gestation period is option A 80 to 100 beats per minute. Option B 100 to 120 beats per minute. Option C, 120 to 160 beats per minute. Option D, 180 beats per minute. Correct option here is option C, that is 120 to 160 beats per minute. Question number four. Fetal movement that is felt by uh, the mother from 18 weeks of gestation is called option A, weakening. Option B, Braxton Hicks contraction. Option C, ballotment. Option D, rotation. The correct option here is option A, that is quickening. And Braxton Hicks contraction is the uterine con uh, contraction without cerv cervical dilation. And ballotment is the method of diagnosing pregnancy in which the uterus is pushed with a finger to feel whether the uh, fetus move away or and return again. Question number five, which type of pelvis has rounded brim? Option A, gynecoid. Option B, android. Option C, anthropoid. Option D, platypeloid. Correct option here is option A, that is gynecoid. Question number six, which of the following is not an indication for cesarean section? Option A, complex pelvic floor. Option B, pelvis classical cesarean section. Option C, placenta previa. Option D, vertex presentation. Correct option here is option D, that is vertex presentation is not the indication for CS. Question number 7. At the 10 cm dilation of cervix during labor, fetal heart rate should be assessed at least. Option A, before each contraction. Option B, every 15 minutes. Option C, every 30 minutes. Option D, one early. The correct option here is option B. That is, every 15 minutes, uh, uh, the fetal heart rate should be assessed at 10 cm dilation of cervix. Question number 8. A mother in labor has been pushing effectively for 1 hour. The primary physiological needs of mother in between contraction is option A, change position frequently, option B, ambulate, option C, consume oral uh, food and fluids, option D, Rest. The correct option here is option D, that is, in between every contractions, the mother should uh, rest. Question number 9. Softening and blue-purple discoloration of cervix in early pregnancy is called option A, Hacker sign, option B, Chadwick sign, option C, Goodell sign, option D, Ossinder sign. The correct option here is option B, that is Chadwick sign. Question number 10. Which of the following nursing intervention is the most appropriate initially if the uterus feels soft and bulky in the immediate postpartum period? Option A. Massage the fundus until it is firm. Option B. Elevate the mother's leg. Option B. Push on the uterus to expel clots. Option B. Encourage mothers to void urine. Correct option here is option A. That is massage the fundus until it is firm. Question number 11. Which of the following is a uterotonic drug? Option A, levonorgestrel. Option B, iso isosupreme. Option C, misoprostol. Option D, magnesium sulfate. Correct option here is option C, that is misoprostol. 
Question number 12. Syphilis is caused by option A, parasite, option B, virus, option C, bacteria, option D, protozoa. The correct option is option C, that is bacteria. Syphilis is caused by bacteria named Treponema pallidum. Question number 13. Pigmentation of face of pregnant woman is called option A, stria gravidarum, option B, linea uh, alba, option C, clozma, option D, vascular spiders. Correct option here is option C, that is clozma. Question number 14. Hemlich maneuver technique is used to option A, dislodge foreign bodies from trachea, option B, dislodge foreign bodies from nose, option C, dislodge foreign bodies from ears, option D, dislodge foreign bodies from stomach. The correct option here is option A, that is dislodge foreign bodies from trachea. When a person choke, uh, uh, hemlich maneuver is used to dislodge the foreign bodies from the trachea of that person. Question number 15. Apgar score of 4 to 6 indicates that the newborn has Option A, no difficulty. Option B, moderate difficulty. Option C, severe distress. Option D, no signs of vitality. Correct option here is option B, that is moderate difficulty. Question number 16. Moro reflex disappear at the age of Option A, 9 to 10 months. Option B, 7 to 8 months. Option C, 5 to 6 months. Option D, 3 to 4 months. The correct option here is option D, that is 3 to 4 months. Question number 17. First tool of baby is called option A, meconium, option B, colostrum, option C, melena, option D, hematocasia. Correct option here, option A, that is meconium. Question number 18. Which of the following is not a part of the tetralogy of a lot? Option A, pulmonary stenosis, option B, ventricular septal defect, option C, arterial septal defect, option D, ventricular uh, right ventricular hypertrophy. Correct option here is option A, uh, option C, that is arterial septal defect, is not a part of tetralogy of failure. Here, the in tetralogy of failure, there is uh, four abnormal abnormalities. One is pulmonary stenosis, VSD, right ventricular hypertrophy, and overriding of aorta. Question number 19. Keloplasty is advised for repair of option A, club foot, option B, congenital dysplasia, option C, cleft lip, option B, cleft palate. The correct option here, option C, that is cleft lip. Uh, the repair of cleft lip is called keloplasty. Question number 20. Most common characteristics associated with nephrotic syndrome in children is option A, generalized edema, option B, bright red blood in the urine. Option C, increased urine output. Option D, hypertension. The correct option is option A, that is generalized edema. Question number 21. Drinkle's lactate solution is a hypotonic. Option A, option B, hypertonic. Option C, isotonic. Option D, colloids. Correct option is option C, RLSD, isotonic solution. Question number 22. Clubbing of fingers is a sign of Option A, acute gastroenteritis. Option B, shock. Option C, chronic renal disease. Option D, chronic lung disease. The correct option is option D, that is chronic lung disease. And clubbing of fingers can also be seen in patients who have cyanotic heart disease. Question number 23. Which of the following is not a purpose of bronchoscopy? Option A, to visualize uh, tissue of trachea and bronchi. Option B, to remove foreign bodies from tracheobronchial tree. Option C, to administer medicine in trachea. Option D, to treat post-operative atelectasis. Correct option here is option C. That is, administer medicine is not the purpose of bronchoscopy. Question number 24. Which of the following is not a contributory factor of hypomagnesemia? Option A, chronic alcoholism. Option B, hypothyroidism. Option C, prolonged use of laxative. Option D, malabsorptive disorder. The correct option here is option B, hypothyroidism. Hypothyroidism does not cause uh, hypomagnesemia. Question number 25. The test used to measure ejection uh, function and examine the size, shape, motion of cardiac structure is option A, echocardiography. Option B, electroencephalography. Option C, electrocardiography. Option D, 
electromyography. Correct option here is option A, that is echocardiography or we also call in short as echo. Question number 26, which of the following is a cardiac biomarkers? Option A, creatinine. Option B, heparin. Option C, troponin. Option D, trypsin. The correct option here is option C, that is troponin, is the one of the cardiac biomarkers. Question number 27, condition in which blood flowing from the left atrium to the left ventricle is absorbed is known as option A, mitral regurgitation. Option B, mitral valve prolapse. Option C, mitral stenosis. Option D, aortic regurgitation. Correct option here is option C, that is mitral stenosis. Question number 28, the part of upper stomach which move into the lower portion of the thorax through diaphragm is known as or the condition uh, uh, the condition is known as option a inguinal uh, hernia option b uh, hiatal hernia option c epigastric hernia option d umbilical hernia the correct option is option b that is hiatal hernia question number 29 a longitudinal tear or ulceration in the lining of anal canal is called option a Anal fistula, option B, hemorrhoids, option C, proctitis, option D, anal fissure. The correct option here is option D, that is anal fissure. Question number 30, which of the following is not a complication of diabetes? Option A, myopathy, option B, retinopathy, option C, nephropathy, option D, neuropathy. Correct option here is option A, that is myopathy. Myopathy is not a complication of diabetes.